Thank you very much. Dear Excellencies, dear ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates, I have uh, the great honor to contribute to this session where we are speaking about innovations, where we are speaking about regulations and also speaking about solutions at the end. And DECRA as a company in the world who is close to 100 years old will be the partner for a safe, secure and sustainable world. So in all these three aspects, we will be a partner to support the innovation, to support also the regulation and to support at the end solutions. We would like to discuss about road traffic, road transport today. And we have, um, we have focused on heavy duty vehicles. So the trucks, which are traveling around the world and are subject of a lot of CO2 emissions at the moment. DECRA is um, measuring exhaust emissions and pollutants since a number of years, and we are experienced also in measuring additional components like NOx emissions. So at the moment, within exhaust emission checks, there are measured CO emissions, particle emissions, so diesel emissions, but what is not measured in the world, not overall, is NOx. And NOx is a pollutant which also contributes to greenhouse effects, but also is seen and is considered as a toxic gas. We have um, yeah, detected the current fleet of Euro 6 heavy duty vehicles, and we have seen that the systems who are built into it to reduce the NOx emissions are based on SCR, so selective catalytic, catalytic reactions and reductions. And these systems are in a number of cases manipulated, unfortunately. So the high type approval requirements are fulfilled with the vehicle itself. However, in use, oftentimes the systems are deactivated in order to save also this um, at blue which is needs to be filled in, in a tank like diesel oil. And what, what is the case? If these systems are deactivated, <coughs> then the Euro 6 vehicle becomes a Euro 2 vehicle. And um, we would like to show this aspect also during a presentation, which will be given to all of you after the session in, uh, in front of the building and our experts, not only from DECRA, but also from the Danish Ministry of Transport, will show how these treatments on, on heavy duty vehicles is done and what measures could be implemented in order to avoid um, these sort of manipulations. We are convinced that vehicle inspection, so PTI, what my colleague from CETA has also um, let's say, um, discussed with us, could be a very important part of this fight against climate change, not only regarding pollutions, but also with regards to CO2 emissions, especially when it comes to the source of the emissions, so the fuel, and at the end, the, the burning of the fuel within the transport. So there are solutions available which could really help also the introduction of biofuels. So if we see the electrification of fleets, which are taking place during the next years and have great success in a number of countries already, this will not solve the overall problem. So we are considered and we need to introduce for the conventional cars also fuels which are lower, which have lower carbon emissions in order to help the fight against climate change. So at the end, we will need a number of measures. I would say we need all measures which are appropriate to implement into current and future traffic in order to solve this problem. I have brought a short video with me and I would ask that this video is now being showed. It is about 
exhaust emission development. DACRA conducts emission tests all over the world. For each method, the result must comply with regional regulations. Modern vehicles are equipped with an onboard diagnostic system, which monitors emission relevant systems during vehicle operation. Emissions of vehicles with petrol engine are tested via the two speed idle, which is a static method. The gas analyzer measures and evaluates the level of carbon monoxide, CO, and the value of lambda in the exhaust. The free acceleration method is applied on vehicles with diesel engine. The measurement device is an opacimeter. The opacity of the exhaust smoke is being measured. Main inspection points are the condition of the exhaust pipes, the fuel system, the catalyst or filter systems, installed emission relevant sensors, oil leaks at the engine, and all other liquids. In order to achieve road driving conditions and therefore more realistic exhaust emissions results, vehicles can be driven and tested on dynamometers. Fuel fumes are emitted as hydrocarbons at evaporation. To ensure a functional sealing of the gas tank inlet, gas cap tests are conducted. In the near future, we will introduce a particle count measurement in some countries. This measurement method will replace the free acceleration method on modern diesel vehicles. DECRA is continuously improving the measurement of emissions. So we are performing real driving emission tests and dynamic test methods for type approval, but also for PTI research. We are investigating how we will measure NOx in the near future in the frame of PTI. We collaborate with national and international organizations to guide the evolution for the regulations. We are searching on how electric vehicles, autonomous driving, and emission issues impact vehicle inspection. So thank you for listening and watching the video. Now we will have the opportunity to join the, the presentation be, uh, in front of the building with a real heavy duty vehicle and these measurements in place. So therefore I would kindly ask you to, um, to join this session um, and then the discussion and also some questions can be raised um, and explained directly by our experts. Thank you.